All right, everyone, welcome to another lesson of our Nice Creative Flow. I am Hubert Border, your coach and mentor. And for this lesson, we are gonna go through the single bastone or the single stick application. We've done a lot of single drills, kind of similar to the double stick drills that we've done in the past where we do one and four with a redondo or a one and four with a thrust. We're gonna go through the application of some of these techniques of a single bastone. Again, I'm gonna keep it simple. I'm gonna keep it up with just the first couple high strike. We can do all of them, but I'm gonna keep it simple, like I said, and it'll incorporate long and maybe a touch of medium range. Let's get into it. So some of the earlier drills we've done have uh, been single bastone with redondas, or single bastone with thrusts, or saksa, right? And it's like, how do you apply that? Well, single bastone sometimes is a little easier for most people. That's why in a lot of videos of other arnisadors, you'll see mainly single bastone or a blade or something, but you'll see mainly one of them. And if you see doubly bastone, it's usually doing a Sinawali pattern or things like that. There are arnisadors that will apply it, but you don't see many of those videos, at least I haven't. So in this video, we're gonna do single bastone application. Keep it very simple, start off slow. So again, basic tip, one to two inches from the bottom, use the tip, chamber all the way back. When we're actually applying it, you're firing your stick from all the way back. But when we're in battle or combat, I won't stick here with my stick all the way back. I'll probably have it in a guard position. Okay, I might even incorporate my my checking hand, this hand that I keep up in the middle. All right, so off of the first few strikes that we've done, I'm just gonna go through them basically. I went one, redonda, and then I went four with the redonda. Well, how do you apply those strikes? We're gonna do it from a largo mono range, long range. Number one thing is keep out of the way. So when Ewan comes in for that attack, I don't wanna be here. You'll see a lot of demo like this. He'll come in and I'll just maybe go like that. But meanwhile, if he really came in and stepped into it, he could probably get me. So as Yun steps in, if I don't block, I get hit. Even if he steps in and I just move a little bit and he steps in, I get hit. So what I have to do is match that because he's coming with anger and energy and he comes in and I step out and I get out of the way. So now I know that stick falls right through. Okay, and then I can follow up with my moves. So that's the idea. Stay out of the way. Largo mono, long range. There are moments when your attacker could attack you and come in at speed and I might not have time to get away. So I still have to know zoning and how to get out of the way. My target is his limb. I always go for the limbs because that's what's holding the stick. The head and all those bigger body parts are last for me. This is just application. We're gonna go through it very slow. He's gonna feed a one and four to start and we're gonna just go through those strikes. So one, I attack, I follow up with my moves. Boom, I do my redondas. Boom, I do my redonda. Go, bam, redonda, see? My redonda is there, boom. Redonda is there, again there. There, boom, I'm getting out of the way. If you and now starts to chase me and come in, then I have to think, okay, he's coming in. My thing, I get out of the way and I redonda, see? Even if he's attacking and my follow up, let's go back to that attack, he comes in, I get out of the way, I zone, I move through and he comes back for that second strike, I redonda that, you see that? That's the application of the redonda. I promise I will try my best to pronounce redonda better. Redonda could be my first strike. He comes in. Redonda. Again, <clears throat> right there. Boom. And I'm out of the way. And then I follow up. If I'm in a medium range, then I attack. Now he's being very static and he's being a great assistant for me. But if he's not, he comes in, attack. Boom. I have to deal with that. Oh, sorry. It's okay. I have to deal with that. And I want to stay in control of his limbs. Okay, so I'm here. I'm keeping him off balance and I could step in and control that as well. While I can attack, disarm, scoop it up, oh, thrust, disarm that way. I can continue with multiple techniques. That's why we flow, because it won't always be perfect and I will get hit and you will get hit too. This is stick fighting. He comes in, I might go this way. If I go on the inside, then I'll attack it that way and I'll, I'll check. Now I'm in the medium range, oh, glasses. Always keep your Ray-Bans on tight. <laughs> Boom, okay, now I'm in the medium range. Thrust, thrust. Boom. See, I'm blocking. Boom, again. Boom, now I'll stay long. Boom, just attacking the limb. Boom, oh. Oh, long, Boom. See, if I get stuck, I come in and jam it. He didn't disarm, that means my technique failed, but that's okay, because I have this. So the idea, and I hope you got to see some of that, because we were moving around, trying to make it as real as possible for you. The art of this art is to also move out of the way. When you in attacks, remember, I don't want to stay here doing Largo Mono, because he's being nice right now. He's not fully reaching in. 
But in a real situation, hopefully this, wow, if he came back, this will help stop those attacks. And then that other hand that's up, so if I've done that, then this, boom, will take that one out. And then that. The more you practice these drills that I'm teaching you in a single fashion will lead to that. It's not that you come in knowing heaven or single bus stone techniques, single stick techniques, and you just start flowing and uh, you think you can do all those moves and you just do this. Because at the end of the day, if that's how you train, this is what it'll end up like. He attacks, bam, I get hit and I think I'm doing great and I get hit and I get hit and I get hit and I keep getting hit. And then my technique becomes this, hit, 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 hit. And I'm just trying not to get hit, right? Meanwhile, we're both getting hit. So they're not really applying the art of Filipino martial arts and I'm not protecting myself, right? So as long as I'm protecting myself, I can also defend myself, I can attack at the same time. And that's how you gotta apply these techniques or any martial art for that matter. Boxers who train boxing, they do boxing. Grapplers do grappling. Judo guys do judo. We as Filipino martial artists have to make this art work. Most of the time, it's very floaty, it's, it's flowery. Like I can do that too, but it, what do all those moves mean? How do they make sense? I'm Hubert Border. This is another lesson of our niche creative flow, single bus stone application. I hope you got something out of it. And if you did, buy your Ray-Bans. They'll help you focus better. They slip off, put them back on. Give me a thumbs up, hit subscribe, leave a comment, ask a question, I will respond. Thank you again, Ewan, for your support here and your help using your backyard. I hope you guys enjoyed this and give them that big, see you later.